Why didn't I compose the canon in D? Can you imagine how cool it would be if I composed the canon in D? One of the most popular, one of the most beautiful, one of the most requested uh, pieces of all time. Incredible music, beautiful chord progression. Today we're gonna learn this um, awesome Packer Bell composition on the baritone ukulele. So we're gonna break it down into five sections. Now the chord progression is in the key of D major and we have a bunch of chords. We start with the D major chord. So step one, just memorize the chord progression, right? G major, F, wait, baritone ukulele, so D major. D major, A major, B minor, F sharp minor, and G, and D major, and G, and A major. Now I am mainly uh, playing open chords, uh, so it's a D major chord, very simple, A major, super simple. Be careful with the B minor chord. I like to play the B minor like this, which is four, four, three, and two. Not the easiest chord to play. If you wanna simplify this chord, you can just get rid of the fourth string and you play four, three, and two on third, second, and first string. F sharp minor chord is a bar chord. So we have a bar chord on the front number two, just three strings, the first, the second, and the third string. And with the third finger, we have to play the fourth string fret number four. Arch the third finger. You don't wanna, you don't wanna have these fingers sitting on top of the third string. So find a sweet spot with the thumb as well so that you can play this chord, let it ring out beautifully. G major, super simple, I like to play it with the second finger. And back to D major, and G, and A. Now in section one, we are going to outline the chords. Uh, we're gonna be using the finger picking technique, so no strumming. For the D major chord, we play the top three strings, two, three, and two. Thumb, index, and middle. Now, A major, we uh, play the same set of strings, two, two, and zero. And for the B minor, we play three, two, sorry, four, three, and two. F sharp minor, just a bar chord on fret two. G major is zero, zero, and three. Back to the D major, two, three, and two. C major, zero, zero, and three. And A major. I like to play this chord with the bar chord on fret number two and the first string fret number five. If 
this is too stretchy, you can just play a simple A major chord. So this is how it sounds. You have to let each chord ring out for two beats. One, two, three, four, and one. Two, three, four, and one. Two, three, four, and one. Two, three, four. Now, section two, let's add some rhythm. So instead of plucking the chords simultaneously with thumb, index, and middle, let's just, you know, uh, break up the finger picking pattern and pluck the strings one by one, like this. Such a lovely sound. Now this is how we play it. We have the thumb always on the third string, index always on the second, and middle finger always on the first string. But this time, instead of uh, you know, picking the strings simultaneously, we are going to play thumb and middle together, so third and first string, and then the index finger on the second string. Then we have middle again, and index again. So it's four notes per chord. One, and two and and we are playing this section with um eighth note values so we have two notes per beat one and two and now second chord is the a major one and two and b minor one and two and f sharp minor one and two and G major one and two and D major one and two and G major and two and we finish with A major Finish with the A major, one light strum with the thumb, two, two, and five. Section number three, um, just the hint of this beautiful melody played with quarter notes. So we are playing one note per beat, which is a beautiful thing because we go from playing chords to playing this slow melody. I love it. It sounds like this. Now we're going to open up with the D major chord. I just want you to put down the fourth string open, the third string fret two, and the second string fret number three. We're going to pluck these three strings with thumb, index, and middle. Then the first string fret number two. So we are arpeggiating this chord. Now for the A major, we have the third string fret two and the first string fret number five. We pluck these two notes together. And sometimes I use thumb and middle, sometimes I use thumb and index. So it's totally up to you. Pluck the two notes together, and then the uh, fret number three. Now B minor, third string, fret four, first string, fret number two. Always thumb and middle or thumb and index. Second string, fret three. So again, we are arpeggiating the chord. The melody is within the chord. F sharp minor. I like to play this like this. I like to play this melody uh, with the third string fret number two and the first string fret number two. And then the uh, first open string. Let me just put together this section. G major, just two notes. 
third string open and the second string fret three, second open string, and D major again. Now for this D major, we are playing third and second string, fret number two and fret number three, and I like to play this chord with finger one and finger two, because after this we play the first string, fret number five. Now be careful here, G major, third open string, and first string, fret number three, fret number seven with the pinky, and we finish with the A major chord. Again, two and five, and fret number three. What a beautiful melody. Section 4 is a little busier, we add more notes to the melody, but again, you can really play the whole thing slowly and focus on getting a beautiful tone out of your baritone ukulele. This is how it sounds. progression is the same, so we open up with the D major chord, and we have this melody still kind of within the chord, we just have to uh, make a few adjustments here. So we have the D major shape, uh, which is 0, 2, and 3, and I pluck the strings with thumb, index, and middle, but then the melody is on the second string of fret number 2 and fret number 3 and on the third string, fret number two. So I like to hold down the index finger on fret two as I'm playing the melody. Now second chord, the A major. We have the third string, fret number two, first string, fret five, zero, and two. Now sometimes you see me holding a note down, I just like the fact that sometimes some of these notes are ringing out, it just helps the whole thing to you know, sound better. So... Now B minor. So the melody starts on the third string fret four, and then second string for three, two, and zero. F sharp minor, just a bar chord on fret two. We pluck the third and second string. First string, fret number two, fret number five, and fret number seven. So. G major, um, third open string, this is our bass note, and first string fret number three, two, zero, and three. Now, G, um, sorry, D major, third string and first string fret number two, then zero, second string fret three, and then fret two. Now be careful here, we're going to jump to fret 7 for this um, G major chord with the 3rd open string and 1st string fret 7, 5, fret number 3, fret number 2. And we finish with the A major chord, 3rd string fret number 2 and 1st open string. And then still on the 1st string, 3, 2, and zero. Such a beautiful thing, you can practice the whole section, uh, you know, 
maybe like two chords at a time. Section five, the most challenging, but also the most beautiful. Um, there are plenty of notes here. And we also play the melody in different positions. So take it step by step. Now we're gonna start with the a D major chord. First two chords. So for the, the, for the a D major, we have the fourth open string. And the melody is on the first string, fret number five, two, three, and five, two, and three. So you have one, two, and three, four, and. Now for the second chord, we uh, play the melody on fret five again, but this time with the third string, fret number two, this is our bass note since we are playing an A major chord. So two and five. And then we have the melody on the third string for number two. So the note is already there. And I like to switch to alternate plucking. So once I pluck these two notes with thumb and middle, I will have the melody with the uh, index finger. So I'll pluck with the index finger and then I'll alternate between index and middle. So I have fret number two. Second string fret number zero, two, three. First string open, two, and three. And this is such an awesome exercise as well, no? If you want to practice slowly. Now B minor. and F sharp minor. This is probably the trickiest section. Uh, B minor chord, remember the chord shape, the melody is kind of within the melody. So it's uh, fret four and fret two on third and first string, always thumb and middle. And then the melody is on the second string, fret number three, first string open, fret number two. Then we have to change position and play the second string for number seven, eight. And then we change chord, uh, F sharp minor, third string fret six, first string fret number five, fret number seven on the first string, five, and on the second string fret number eight, back to the fret number five, and then second string, seven, eight, and first string fret number five. This is a tricky part. Huh? Because I'm trying to hold down the bass note, so. Now, G major. The melody is on the first string, fret three, seven, five, and three, two and zero. D major with the melody on the fret number two, zero, and fret number three, then zero, two, three, five and seven. And we finish with the a melody on fret number three with the G on the bass, so third open string. Then seven, five, seven. And then on the second string, fret number two, three, and last chord, two and two on third and second string. Zero, two, three. Zero, two, 
three, five, and D five, which is zero, two, three, and five. Beautiful composition, and I know guys, this is just like, you know, five sections. There is definitely more than that. This beautiful piece is way more than um, those five sections, but you know, um, we have to start in a way. And so we're gonna keep it super simple. And even though, you know, um, I mean, this is pretty challenging. Even though I try to make it as simple as possible, uh, it is quite challenging. So take it step by step enjoy the process, right? And also, uh, keep us posted. Just let me know how it goes in the comment section down below. Enjoy this tutorial, and I'll see you next time.